I could see that too. I mean, if our bridges each had a different sound within a chord, you know, maybe around Portland, it could sound quite nice, but. <laughs> it, it could, it could. Yeah, um, unfortunately, none of our bridges really make that noise. Yeah, they don't quite whistle. <laughs> yeah, well, let's take a look at those winds. Uh, and you're looking at current wind speeds right now. Yeah, we are starting out breezy here around our region too. So there will be some breezy moments the rest of today. Out to Newport, we were tracking sustained winds around 30 miles per hour, dipping a little back to 25. It has been gusty out there too. A max wind gust at around 54 miles per hour just since midnight around Newport. So uh, this bomb cyclone still throwing impacts our way and will likely do so uh, through the rest of today. We'll see breezy moments again. Wind speeds around 15 to 20 up to Salem into Portland. Current wind gusts closer to uh, again 40 miles per hour out to Newport. So there are some spots with very strong winds even out to Astoria seeing uh, wind gusts there around 30 miles per hour in Portland around 24 miles per hour. Again, just a stormy start to the day in Portland. We haven't seen much rain since our morning hours, but take a look out to the coast, the northern coast of Oregon and across uh, Washington here up to the peninsula. We are getting some heavy rainfall in spots and even some embedded thunderstorms within that rain band. You can see those lightning strikes sparking up here near Astoria. So an active morning as that heavy band of rain showers continues to push on through. We'll still see these bands of rain this morning and they'll soon traverse over the coast range and hit the valley likely by about midday today. So even though we're not seeing much rain here around much of the Portland metro area, a few light scattered showers popping up there. Uh, down towards the south, we will start to pick up that rain going into about midday. So get out for a walk this morning if you want to avoid the most wet weather, but we'll still see showers today and we'll keep those breezy winds around all day today and say good morning to Maisie out of Gladstone, Oregon. A good day to sit inside and enjoy that fire. That looks very comfy. Thank you for sending in this photo. You can always send yours into coin.com slash weather slash pet walk forecast. So for today, we'll start to see those winds tapering off too. So for the coast, our high wind warning uh, expires at 9 o'clock as we head into our late morning and afternoon. We'll still see breezy conditions. Again, gusts maybe around 30 miles per hour, but likely avoiding those higher winds at around 50 to 60. If you're up in elevation, maybe the headlands still likely very gusty out there. But again, the winds do taper off slightly. Highs today in the mid-50s with active showers and a chance for an isolated thunderstorm. In Portland today, mid to upper 50s as well. A cooler day will keep it cloudy. We'll still see showers today that pick up right around lunchtime and will linger into the afternoon. So still grab the rain jacket out the door and we may see some gusts around 30 miles per hour. Same goes for central and eastern Oregon, likely a dry sunny start, but then we could see a quick shower rolling in as we head towards the second half of the day. Same goes for the gorge too. We'll keep scattered showers around uh, and uh, some breezy moments up in the mountains too near Mount Hood. We'll see rain showers and some snowfall for the higher elevations, likely above 6,000 feet. So take a look at a rainfall future cast. You can still see uh, that center of low pressure. There's the bomb cyclone. It's stalling offshore and still sitting nearby, but very thankful we didn't see the storm working inland over the weekend, or we could have seen a major windstorm across the region. So we are lucky the storm also an historic one. It did drop to a central low pressure of about 942 millibars. Again, that's around 27 inches of pressure there in the barometer, and that is a record for the strongest storm this close to the west coast here across the Pacific. So that's why the storm was uh, quite the impressive one. And again, we'll still see some of those rain bands working inland here as that storm swirls offshore, and that's going to bring in some active weather today. We may see isolated storms continuing into the afternoon up and over the coast range and a slight chance we get some storms here around the valley going into our afternoon, but we'll keep those scattered showers in place. We'll see some rainy moments today and through Tuesday, another round of rain as that system starts to work out the door by Wednesday. Do see some dry time. We get a brief break in between systems. So uh, by the afternoon on Wednesday, likely cloudier moments as those showers start to taper off. So keep that in mind. Wednesday midday, we could see some dry time, but Thursday we are back under that rain as another system rolls in. So for the first half of this week, we'll keep it fairly rainy. That goes into about Friday morning. Then we start to dry out and take a look at the weekend. Halloween now looking dry. We'll see partly to mostly sunny conditions. Temperatures staying in the upper 50s to low 60s, but likely dry weather setting back up heading into this weekend.